Hi folks, it's Maureen here, Stitchy Mac, and I am back with another floss tube. To show you what I've done in June and the beginning of July, essentially. We're kind of in the middle of July at the moment. Um, yeah, so I quickly looked at my last video because I was like, I don't really know where I got to. I'm not very consistent with these, so I kind of lose track of where I was. But at that point, I was talking about what I was going to be doing in June and my plans for June seems like a long time ago was to catch up on some of my whip go pieces which i did do some of them and then my plans for july were going to be i was doing tour de france on my big map which i have been doing See? it all works out so but that to show you and then a couple of bits of pieces i picked up so let's go what's this this is so this was one of the pieces is, so what I'm trying to do is I've got like, I've been doing whip go and I give myself like set amounts of more percentages because I work almost off pattern keeper and I've been like, right, I want to get to a certain percent. Um, and out of the, wait a minute, we're in July now, so that's six, we've done 12. One was called next, so I think we've done 13. And I've got maybe about five or six outstanding now. That are still to get to the goal where I want them to be. Well, worry about that. Some of them, some of the goals I've given myself was a little touch ambitious, so I might have to rethink that, or I'll just, you know, it's my whip go board and it's more. It's, it's it's just I'm enjoying it because it it takes that decision where it's like right, okay, these are the pieces I want to work on this year, and then it's like someone says we'll work on that one. Okay, one less decision in my life to make. So anyway, this here, this here lovely girl is Jill from Artisy Stitches. Um, most of the stuff you will see is black and white because <laughs> I don't have colour print. Um, and this is actually, but she's actually sepia, sepia colour, I think is the appropriate term. And so my goal is to get to 20%. I did it. Da, 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 da. So that has brought her down. I've got an eye and see when you, it's, it's that way I was about work because I'm doing this on a, it's kind of a yellowy kind of the sparkly fabric I think it was one of the fabrics I'm on and I'm doing it 28 I think it's 28 count two over two which is big for me but it was just the way it worked I knew if I'd done it two over one it would have been too small I don't know it just and I was a bit worried because I thought, I wonder what this will look, how is this going to translate? But now looking at it, oh my God, loving it. Because obviously all I've been seeing is a lot of browns and a lot of beiges. I'm so glad to get down to her eye. So yeah, so that's 20%. Obviously there's a few stragglers down the bottom there. Um, yeah. And I just kind of worked my way along so I was like, just kind of finish. I I think I filled in, oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, is that, is that, no, it's just the way the light's picking up. I'm like, have I missed stitches there? Um, yeah, because I was just kind of, the way I work is I have like a couple of boxes of threads that most, for my, the ones I'm using every month. And then, so when I'm doing other stuff, I just pick and go right okay well I've got that colour I can use that colour and with pattern keeper you can just randomly go wherever you want right so and then I was like no I'll just I'll go back in and fill in all the missing spaces so oh um see when I see you know when you work I say this every time when you work on it it's just a big blob but it's when you start looking at it and you go oh yeah I, I see I see where I'm going with this now sorry that was my TV remote sorry was I woke dog up Dear. Um. So yeah, so that one is that finished, um, for the year. Not finished, just finished for the year. Um, she'll be back out. I think she'll be in my world cup. Maybe I can't remember. I have finally because everybody has finally qualified now. I have matched up all the world cup countries with well, some of them have tried to keep a theme. Um you know, to match up to the king, like my carnival piece is going to be Brazil, but most of it, and then the rest I just did random. 
so she might go in there. I can't remember. Um, right, next on the list of what clothes to finish was my um, Heaven and Earth, Christmas Stocking, Donna Giltinger, hmm, what's it called? Enchanted Christmas Reindeer. You can get this in various formats and squares, circles. Or I think it comes as an ornament, etc. I picked it. Christmas stocking. Again, I think it was 20% or 10% or 20%. I can't um, yeah, so again, and it's really weird because I normally do not like working on Christmas stuff outside of Christmas. That just, it's weird. That's wrong. But I actually enjoyed working on this. Um, again, I think I just kind of filled in and did a bit more of his antlers and then just kind of or down down the side there so yeah and then it's a total panic I was like oh my god this isn't gonna fit oh you know that way you just <sighs> I just panic all the time about it. it's like oh my god but anyway especially for things like this because a lot of the stuff you can as I will explain in another one <laughs> but I have done that you can you can adjust but you're like oh I can't really adjust this I don't really know how to do that but I have measured and remeasured so yeah so this is, oh no, with these account, I think it's 20, 10 stitch, 28 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. Yep, so again, going away, done what I wanted to do with it this year. Chopped, chopped. Um, the next one was one I'd started in May, I think, which is my Tags Island, um, which is, uh, um just made this for my picture, don't tell anyone. Um by oh god I can never remember what his name is. Anyway, it's an English artist and I just I saw an documentary once it was about they'd been at his house and I was like, I freaking love that picture. Um it's it's Tags Island in the Thames, I believe. Um yeah, and so this is a pic pictured pattern as a pic picked pat that I've done and I've essentially created a max colour version because if you've ever done it you have it's it's trying to find the right size with the right colours and then you have to try and look at the mock up and go oh my god is this gonna work so I don't really know so I've obviously erred on the side of caution and done as many colours as I can which is like yeah I think it's what you would call max colour not much blockage going on there so this is the bot this is the bottom left because I started the bottom left because I thought I had more detail the picture itself is quite blurry so it, it I don't know it, it's, it's, it's a kind of blurry picture not blurry but softer strokes I don't I don't, I don't I'm not an artist I don't know the technical term for it but it's not like sharp features so but in the bottom right hand, bottom left hand corner, there's like a chair and uh, like, like, so I was like, I wanted to just see how this is going to turn out before I can, you know, did a lot. So I've done, yeah, I think I ended up doing like a thousand stitches. So that's the bottom left corner. And again, yeah, I don't know, I miscalculated something. So it's not quite big enough. It's not quite tall enough. So, but thankfully, the top is just cheese, <laughs> so I can just when it runs, <laughs> when the picture runs out, the picture runs out. It's not like I'm getting to it anytime soon. As long as I remember that, I get this. It's always the problem. It's like, yeah, I need to remember that that's what my plan was <laughs> in twenty years' time when I get to it, and not have a panic and go, oh my god, <laughs> don't someone else me. Right, so that's three. Oh, that's that. Oh. And this was my old. Yeah, so Gina reined in the tags down with three of the work goes that I still needed to complete. So I finished those. Um, and so then this one was the piece that was called for June. 
is a ye old band sampler by Ivy House Cross Stitch Ivy House Crafter Etsy. And she does YouTube as well. She does cross tube. She hasn't done from the web. But um she does do like cross tube. And she's done this and there's another one very similar. She's done the two. Um so. And my 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 original goal for the year was to do this bit, but I have now decided to do but to do this. But the way I was stitching up, it was either the page I think comes to about here. The page actually comes down to about here, I think, halfway along these bits. So I'm just finishing the page off. So that instead of going all the way along, I'll come down. I don't know if I completed this one, I don't think. I just want to push you. You're a bit true. Sorry, I'm having a time off. So did I? I think I finished it. Yeah. Because that actually stitched up not too bad. Um, 1840, yeah. I'm trying to remember these Anyway, I'll show you the actual stitch instead of waffling. Right, this is stitch on just some random way, even we it's twenty I think it's the twenty-eight two or thirty-two, it's one over one. And it's stitched with thread work. I don't love thread work, but usually there's a couple of times. I deliberately chose thread works for it. Thread works one one two one five. <laughs> That's just the number of it. Yeah, one one two one five. Which is a black from the mouth. A burgundy and brownie grey sort of thing. Thin on there. Um, which gives a little bit of variation. Not too much. I don't really think. Yeah, I did finish that page. Let's go me. Um, yeah, so as you'll see, so the page page one just came down to there. So I was like, ah, let's just do that. So I think there's another three pages. But that yeah, it, it stitched up pretty easy this time. <laughs> I mean, still was a progress on this. Just another five more pages to go. Um, and the thing is, every time I get it out, I absolutely friggin' love it. And the variation, let's see if we can see. It's subtle. Subtle is the word, which is quite frankly not a word people would normally say about me. It's not a word I would use to describe myself. Just very subtle. But the, that is very subtle variation. But they're very nice. So I'm at 30 minutes. Good God. I wasn't through this. I don't understand people that I watch YouTube, I watch Floss Scripture, and then it's like 45 minutes and they show like one project. And I'm like, I don't know, I just was think through things. I'm off on it. It's a bit like when it came to doing exam for I'm just gonna show my love face. Just kinda of in cross stitch. Um doing exams. I don't know if anyone else ever thought you know that way and it's like I would write like a page and a half and then there's other folk in there writing like ten pages or they'd start asking for can I have some more paper? And you're like It's like I've finished. I appear to have finished. And it's like literally I don't know what it is you're writing. How can you how can you eke this out so much? What exact point where I've written the facts. I'm not a good even though I'm good at waffling when I'm articulating. I'm not a good it's like here's the fact. You know, it's like when they're like, oh give more detail and you're like more detail than what no one wants to know the detail. I'm now just time wasting. Should have actually call it time. On holiday this week, it's, it's, it's quite nice. I've literally done nothing. No, I went to, I met a friend yesterday when we got to Silverbury for a little bit. Just wandering around and drinking coffee. Um, But other than that, I'm doing some cleaning today. I'm like, okay, I'm going to clean the bathroom because, you know, that's the way to spend the holidays. It's been too hot. It's been very, very warm here. And when I say very warm, it's like in the 80s, which I know for people, not warm, but for us, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. My poor Rosie dog is, was not impressed with it at all. She was fine, thank you. But she's a Labrador. She's meant to be in Labrador. She's, that's her natural state. 
um, but not as bad as it's been down south. Holy crap, and that's just awful. But anyway, normality is resumed. It's jumpers and gray skies. <laughs> Back to normal. I have nothing else really planned for my holiday. It was just, I was like, I need to take a week off my work because I'm going to kill someone otherwise. <laughs> it's quite simple. You know, you get to that point, you're just work has been so stressful for the last, I don't know, a year, three years, ever. No, no, it used to be a nice job. And now it's just so stressful and busy. And I was just like, I'm just, I'm, I need to take a time off. I'm not going to be something good anyway. Nope. Nope, I'm not doing anything. I'm getting my hair done tonight. Like the Lord. Um, I'm getting my hair done tonight. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow I'm going. I need to check, but I think I was. I'm going for a reflexology and for an Pilates class. I'll be crippled after that. For a wellness center. They were offering it free work, but of course on a Friday afternoon when everybody's at work. So I was like, well, I'm on holiday. I'll go in. Get some zen. Definitely need it, I think. Um, so yeah, and then I'm not back till next Wednesday. I've taken Monday and Tuesday off because my sister's coming down Tuesday and we're going back to Dumfries. I'm going to the reflexology centre at Dumfries House. And then we're going back to Dumfries House on Tuesday because my sister wants to go and do the tour of the house. I haven't ever, I've been in the grounds and everything like that. It's only just a few minutes up the road for me. It's an old house, an estate. That I'd never heard that was was like a private estate and then they were selling it and they discovered all this amazing furniture and this whole collection in this house and you know it's Prince Charles and that got involved and they've taken it on and they own, they own it now I don't know if it's like a trust kind of and they did it all up and saved all the furniture and done it all up and it's very nice and it's nice kind of grounds and you can walk about that's my plan for next Tuesday. Oh, that. I'm getting a new fridge freezer. I'm fed up. My fridge. I'm fed up battling with my fridge freezer. It's like constantly turning it up and down because it's either everything's either frozen or defrosted. There's no. It's either like like the fridge. Sorry, the fridge is frozen and the def the freezer is like defrosted. And I was like, okay, I give in. I give in. I have fought this battle for the last few years. I'm giving and buying a new fridge freezer. The last exciting life I'll lead. Right, sorry, I've had my coffee now. I'll get back to I'll get back to this now. Right. Break time's over. What else did I work on? Okay, I worked on this. I did just write it down somewhere. Range air test, you know. Hold. Oh my god, I wrote that down five minutes ago and I can't even look carnival. Um, nope, I haven't done that. It's in there because it, no, it needs to get done. Um, nope, I haven't done any of that either. I don't want to show that. Um, da, 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 da. this is the one. This is Caroline Manning. Carnival. Sorry, it's all blue because I had no patience and started using started colouring in the actual graph and then realised that it's like on double sided pages I was like this isn't really gonna work so I went copy it last week. Anyway, Carnival by Caroline Manning. It's a quilty thing. And it looks nothing like that picture. What actually looks like is this. Which is a Hell of a lot brighter than what the picture shows. So my goal for the year is to get down the page. I'm about halfway now. Hi again. Sorry, that was a few days ago. Um and I was really interrupted at that point and then I just was like oh right I'm not actually going around to finishing what I was talking about in the last one so without further ado I will all right and I was talking about this and my plan was for a 
page um, and it is God, I like really weird today because it doesn't look as bright as it did. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think um, it's maybe about halfway or just over halfway done on that page. And then I think there's just like two pages. It's not a huge piece. This. And kind of once you get into the rhythm of it, but I've learned my mistake with this, um, which is I'm, I've done this obviously in easy count, which is fine. But... I'm doing it two over two over one. No, two over two. Two over two. Two over two. But your brain works in squares when you're working in easy count, you're working in pattern keeper. And yes, these are all squares. But guess what? They're not so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like one one nine across. Yes, yeah, so each of the squares is like nine across. Not ten across, nine across. <laughs> so it just kind of. So I was like, no, I've got another couple of Caroline Manning ones to do, and I'll just do them on white. <laughs> just on plain white, not on easy count, because your brain goes ten, nine, ten. But yeah, so I'm going to carry on working on that. So that was everything I worked on in. June, no, July, July is pretty straightforward. We're now actually on July the 23rd, 4th, 5th, somewhere about that. Um, I'm still on holiday, I don't know what day the week is. Um, and I was working on my Tour de France stitch along where I stitch the number of kilometres. And I just did mine. I just did it as I did 10 stitch. I just counted 10 stitch. I didn't double it up this time because that just I don't want to test my stitch. I just was doing it for my own benefit. Um so yeah. Um this is my Paradise Small. It's by Love Thy Thread, which doesn't exist anymore. And this is called Paradise um Paradise Small. So that is where I got to. So essentially, I did 3,300 something tent stitches um, over the three weeks and I kind of worked, obviously I worked. This brings me right up, this kind of comes over to page. I'm trying not to have too many like sharp edges, um, but yeah, so I just kind of randomly kind of pick bits. I have to do this on paper, this is still on paper, it's not on plan to keep her. I never did find the PDF file. It was a PDF file I printed off. I never could find it. Um, so it's um, old fashioned paper. Oh, God. And I, just, I actually look now and I think, God, how could you ever, you know, especially for full coverage pieces, it was like, no wonder it took so long to do things. Because I was just spending like 10 minutes, and this one is relatively straightforward for paper chart because as much as there's like a ton of different colours in here like I mean I was doing these greens down here so there is a ton of different greens but um it, it's kind of in lines you know they're kind of in blocks you know the way it kind of goes the way the colouring goes so it's it's there's not a huge, it's not like huge amounts of confetti in it. I mean, it's, it's the blending on it's really nice and the colour's really nice, but there isn't like um, huge amounts of blending and um, confetti in it. And I look back at some of the ones and go, oh my god, how did I, how did we ever do this? But even with that, like, I'm still looking, going, great, where's the, oh god, there's one there. And it does, the time involved in finding different bits. Yeah, all hail the pattern keeper. So yeah, so that is, I was looking at earlier, I think about here. So that's like a page there, and then it's like the next page, because I think about here, it's about halfway. So I've done more or less half. And I think it'll come back out again at the end of the year. Um, My plan is kind of maybe, I might, I might, I might leave it for the week focus piece next year. 
because it's probably about my most farthest along of um, the full coverage pieces. Um, so maybe I'll maybe maybe. Um, and then I was like, and then I didn't didn't work my cards graphica in June because I was going to I was concentrating catching up on lip with stuff. So I've just readjusted my figures so that I'm still going to get my 20% at the end of the year. Um, so I've worked on it in July. So, so yeah, it's just going to be 20%. Um, so I've just been working on, I've now made it onto the map. So this is obviously like the North Pole. So this is the top of the globe. Um, and this is coming down and this is all islands and this little bit here right this little bit here that's me that's us that's great Britain so that's like the south coast it's just a sheer coincidence I happen to slightly go that that because it's um darker colors obviously there's a lot of the, the browns colors the beige colors and I was like oh there we are so that's like the south coast in Wales and then that's coming up to the school. So it's just like a wee smoosh. <laughs> it's just a wee smoosh <laughs> on the map. Um yeah. So <sighs> Hello. So yeah, so I think I'll I'm just I randomly just work these into them because they're annoying me because the thread's just hanging all for there. Um and it was annoying me. Uh so Oh yeah, so I think I'm just I'm just kind of working my way down, kind of just kind of filming stuff, and then I might jump back down there. I might come and do that right here. I'm just kind of boop, boop. just sort of break it up a bit. But yeah, I'm really pleased that it's coming out it's nice actually. It's working the map because. You know, to put it into you know, so this this is one corner. This is obviously one of four. So then I've got to work along there in the Northern Ireland. Not exact, not the same, but maybe I'll work. I don't know. Just see, see where I go. Um, yeah. So that's that. So for the rest of July, what is the rest of July? I will finish up my. I do, I think it's like three and a half thousand, I think I need to do like three and a half thousand stitches now a month. So I need to be up to date. Um, so that's that. And then the other one that was pulled for Whipco this month was that one them. So for Whipco it was the Story Keep Autumn and I think the other one was one I had already finished. It was a little we one of the houses that I think I must have finished or something else. So, um, so I shall be working on this, which is this one, because I'm winter. When, when, <laughs> excuse me, while I have a brain fart. It says how the seasons go, you know, winter, spring, summer. Written. Um and these four story keeps by 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 Jeff, 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 Josephine Law Labyrinthine story keeps they are you, you, they do come as big ones as well I choose story keeps um you can do them all individually I choose to do all in one piece because that is a little bit very nice um so my goal is to get I think it's like ten thousand stitches. Um, I've obviously done summer and I'm going to do autumn. Yep. I think 10,000 stitches is like just over a quarter away or something like that. It's not a huge, you know, I always feel like a quarter of a way down. That's quite nice. You feel like, oh, oh yeah, that's, no, if I've done a quarter, I can do a half. So that's a pile for that. And that's it then for July, August. I'll wait and find out what's going to go with that. Do some more catching up with what the pieces have got. I'll be doing a new start in August because 
we're having a little ditchy day and Alison had suggested starting one of the summer house stitch works. I think most people are doing this summer, but I decided to do winter. Um, yeah, so winter cometh. Um, yeah, I thought I quite like the winter one to start with. So I'll start that at three stitch a day. Um, so I'd gotten that. I'd ordered this one to three stitch. And I was really impressed because I, I don't know my mental. I was always like, oh, I'm going to have to. It's going to cost a fortune. Ever. The postage costs a lot of money. And it turns out it doesn't. It was like, what was the postage charge or something? Here? Four dollars forty nine. Now recently I've noticed I think it was Lakeside Needle Lakeside or something like even to come from Essex was like three pounds something. And this was four dollars. It took about two <laughs> took a while. It wandered around to my liquor going to Chicago and seemed to sit there for a while. It took a while, but I wasn't in any rush. So I'll definitely use it. Use them again. Because I've got some other nice fabric. Um this is for this is uh, so I got four to count linen, um, which I got. I've got this for it. Actually, would go so good for this one, but I actually got it to go for the hands across the sea sampler. So, so I'll give that a go. I didn't want it on just like the kind of neutral color. And then while I was there, I picked up <coughs> this. These were another couple. No, that was the Summer House Stitch Works. I'm sure I'd seen that somewhere else. And I was like, oh, well, that needs to come with me. And, and then I got this. This is, this is a part of, oh, no, this is still another Summer House Stitch Works. And this is part of, so it's Fragments in Time 2017. Um, and there's a whole pile of these. Which all found their way into my wish list. Um, but I thought I'll just get this one because I just love a little series of stuff. We'll do. But I've got like seasonal stuff I want to start next year. So that's it. Oh, it's Monday morning. And I've got another two days of work. No, but today and tomorrow I'm back and more friends. Feels like I have been off for like. Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Don't want to go out to work. Um, yeah. So it's been good. I've even done, I've even done some of the beading on my Chatelaine. Which I've been really slack at doing because it's really horrific. Um, but I kind of did a few days last week. Cause once it, it's one of those things I do, you, you just need a bit of time to do it. It's not something I can just pick up quickly and go, okay, I'll just stick a few stitches in. You need to have a bit of time. So I managed to do um, a little bit more of that. Um, so I've not got much to do. And then I need to go back around because it's like, oh, you come across old stitches that have either fallen out, the beads fallen off. So I'm going to do that and then start in the kind of middle. And it was that way I thought, oh, I'll have a wee look at the pattern. There's not that much. There can't be that much beading in the middle. Then you start looking and you go, oh. But goal is to have it done this year. That's it, just to have it finished by the end of the year and that's perfectly doable. Perfectly doable in a few days, weekends. Once you start getting into it, it's, it's a lot easier and you can get to know, you're like, okay, I know what I'm looking for. I'm good enough. Right, folks, I'm out of here. I want to do enough. Um, and I'll see you again at some point. Take care. And um yeah, see you soon. Bye.